Democratic strategist Aisha Mills is joining us on set here in New York right now. Welcome. Good to see you. Great to be here. I think the political question for this, and Alex was talking about these protesters still getting ready with Kamala Harris still at the top of the ticket, not Joe Biden, is whether there is any impact from that on all this momentum Harris is building up in the polls. If the protest movement, college campuses, DNC, becomes a big story again, does it slow her down? I don't know that it does, because this is, you know, been an issue for the Biden administration, obviously. Right. The war is the war, and everyone wants it to end. There are humanitarian atrocities on both sides, for sure. But at the end of the day, the Biden-Harris administration has been knee-deep in trying to figure out a path forward and, obviously, a ceasefire, et cetera. You think Harris this is, is different ongoing. than Biden on this issue? I think that Harris, you know, I think that Harris is Harris. I think that, that there's not much daylight in terms of the way forward. You know, something I also want to just remind people is that folks are attacking her from both sides, right? Some people want to say that she is anti-Semitic. She's married to a Jewish man. Other people say that she is overly sympathizing um, with Hamas. None of that is true. And so at the end of the day, here's the thing that I think is great for Democrats always, democracy in action. And these protests are a reflection of the fact that we live in a nation where people who care deeply about an issue have an opportunity to have their voices heard, and that's something that Kamala Harris believes in. Now, on that issue, I mentioned that she did, in protest, so I'll call for a ceasefire. She did. Here's specifically what she said in Glendale last week, uh, Vice President Harris. Watch. Now is the time to get a ceasefire deal and get... What about that timing and how that, Aisha, might have impact the race? It's, I don't want to say out of her hands, but it is to a large extent. President Biden's still the president in terms, and it's not, it's not our war. So he's just, he's even on the outskirts of these negotiations. But a ceasefire deal, what impact would it have, do you think, on the race? It doesn't look likely, by the way, right now, the way <laughs> things are going. But, but what if it happened? Certainly bringing hostages home would have yep. a great impact on, that would, on, right? on the race. Absolutely. And this administration, you know, would definitely continue to be the heroes that they are. Here's the thing to remember, though, is that Kamala Harris voters are not single-issue people. They're not single-issue voters. So certainly the war is a very big deal, very big deal. There are many other things we care about as well, like affordable housing, like dealing with the homeless population, like also securing the border is a conversation that's, that's always being had. We care deeply about workers' rights. We we care about uh, making sure that wages are fair and equitable for everyone, and certainly access to the ballot is something that is going to be front and foremost. Now, so you many issues matter. Energized yourself. I, I, I'm assuming you are. Then you were. I mean, you're probably not going to say anything negative about President Biden. He's fine. You're a Democratic strategist. To, but you're more energized. You're more into this race. Yeah. Is that fair? So I fair. Put, let's look at the numbers on the. Uh, we have it on the tablet. We'll put it up. Swing states today. Um, how do you feel about these states? Which one is the yeah, I think she needs all three still. I mean, there's other ways to win, but Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin is the blue wall. If the election was today, you think Harris wins all three? Is that is that where we're at? Where, where's the race right now, in your view, as you look at it? I do. Harris has the momentum, and this is why it matters and why I'm excited. Because, yes, you're absolutely right that I am way more excited today than I was when Biden was still on the ticket. Because of Harris or just because of the change? Because of both. Because the change beget Harris. And what is so exciting about that is that we see... Folks, young people, we see Gen Z, which there are 20 million Gen, Gen Z voters at this point. Right. We see the base of the Democratic Party of all stripes really animated and excited. Need and them that to is show how. Up. That is how we win those. Will they show up? The young they people. They will show up. They will show up, and it's because we're going to win through the culture. We're going to win through the culture. If you just go on TikTok right now, right. you can see the momentum. And a lot of those people live in those three states. No, there are. It, you're right about the young people. They, it's, uh, they're not always the most reliable voters, but when they do show up, it's obviously good for Democrats yeah. if they do show up this time. Final thing. The challenge for Harris is, is a couple things. We're going to talk about the economy next hour. That's an issue for her. Immigration is an issue for her. But also just performance on the campaign trail so far. The, Demo the Republicans have come out and saying, you know what, she's just up there reading a prompter, holding rallies. Yes, there are big <laughs> crowds, uh, and, and there are really big crowds. I know Trump's been saying there aren't, but there are. There are big crowds. We get it. But she has to sit down and do an interview, right, at some point? And does she have to do more than one debate? Are those both things that you think we'll see from her? So, listen, I'm going to tell you, like I've told everybody else, the Harris campaign has been really brilliant in recognizing that this election is also a sea change in how we reach voters. Now, I know I am, too, a part of the Fourth Estate and deeply believe in, in the media. Right. However, this election is going to be won through the culture in the next 84 days. And so sitting down and doing an interview absolutely is important. She needs to be asked questions, but it is not the top priority. 
Thanks so much for watching. Just go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.